What's growing on, gardeners? Today I'm going to share with you how I personally fertilize my seedling starts and everything you need to know about doing so. So what I have here is some miracle Grow Performance Organics uh, liquid feed, or well, it's water soluble, and I put it into this uh, liter bottle here. And what I did is I diluted it at half strength right here. Miracle Grow Organic Half Strength, it's a 9412, but if it's at half strength, it's approximately a 426. As you can see here, it says to use one ta or two tablespoons per gallon of water. So what I did is I used two of these quarter teaspoons uh, that it comes with in this uh, bottle uh, because that would be equal to half strength. Now, I bought this on sale for like $2 at Home Depot, but you, normally it's like $11 or $12, and if you can't afford that, if you can only do like the Expert Gardener or the, uh, you know, the name brand Miracle Grow 24816, I did this at half strength for my uh, overwintering plants over there as they're starting to come out of dormancy. But what I would recommend for seedlings is that you would dilute this to a quarter strength. So they recommend one tablespoon per gallon. I would only do uh, a quarter tablespoon per gallon. Or that would be, like, I think that would be just one of these uh, quarter teaspoon scoops in, in a liter bottle. Or a quarter uh, teaspoon in, uh, a quarter tablespoon, excuse me, in an entire gallon. Because that would make it a six to four. Because you don't want anything really higher than a, like, five, five, five on average. Um, you know, if you can, you can go a little bit over, and that's fine. But that is my recommendation, is go with a water-soluble, organic fertilizer for your vegetable starts, and preferably your flower starts if possible. I am not at all against using uh, miracle Grow organic, uh, regular miracle Grow because there is no microbiology in the soil to kill off but even if you use it appropriately, Miracle Grow is not going to harm your soil if you use it like at half strength uh, every two weeks instead of full strength. Um, but I just encourage you to garden whatever way you can, whatever way you can afford it. Uh, this is the simplest thing. You may see people use fish emulsion. Uh, don't. Uh, in, if you're indoors, don't use uh, fish fertilizer. It will stink up your room and you don't want that. When you're outdoors, that is perfectly fine. And another tip I wanna share is don't fertilize your seedlings when the soil is all dried out because that could also burn your plants. You can see it's just starting to dry out on the top. I would probably personally wait another day uh, before I fertilize because you can see the tops are still uh, pretty damp. So what I'll do is maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll go ahead and dump this entire liter bottle. So a 72 cell tray will take approximately a one liter when it's fairly dry. Um, but whatever you uh, take or whatever is excess in here, you can just pour on a plant or just uh, dispose of it. Um, so that is just a quick uh, informational video on how to fertilize your seedlings. It's really simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And if you want to see updates on these seedlings and uh, updates on overwintering plants like that geranium there that's just starting to bloom and it's just really starting to come out of dormancy, I encourage you to subscribe to see more gardening tips and tricks.